Grab a seat, folks, because we're about to take a peek behind the curtain of Hollywood's most notorious sex addicts. Prepare to be shocked, entertained, and maybe even a little jealous. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a wild ride through the sex-fueled lives of Hollywood's horniest. These are the stars who just can't seem to keep it in their pants. Ah, the one and only Arnold Schwarzenegger. This guy makes Christian Grey look like a blushing virgin. Arnie's got more notches on his bedpost than a lumberjack has on his axe. The Terminator himself couldn't terminate the man's insatiable appetite for the ladies. From his days as a bodybuilding beefcake to his time as the governator of California, Schwarzenegger has always been a magnet for the fairer sex. It's a wonder he ever found time to make movies, what with all the, ahem, extracurricular activities he was engaged in. They should have called him the penetrator, am I right? Or maybe the inseminator? The possibilities are endless when it comes to this Austrian oak of a man and his legendary libido. Ah, Zaza Gabor, the original Hollywood siren who could make a nun blush with just a wink and a wiggle. This Hungarian-American actress and socialite was the embodiment of old-school Hollywood glamour, and she had a reputation for being one of Tinseltown's biggest sex addicts. Zaza was like a human version of a box of chocolates. You never knew what you were going to get. One minute, she'd be gracing the red carpet in a dress that could make a bishop kick a hole in a stained glass window, and the next, she'd be slapping a police officer for giving her a traffic ticket. True story, by the way. Uh, the slapping of the policeman. I tell you why it was unpleasant, because it was so damn unfair, and everybody lied. I told the truth. I even told the truth. I did tell the truth. <laughs> But Zaza's insatiable appetite for romance was the stuff of legend. She was married nine times, which is either a testament to her undying love for the institution of marriage or a clear sign that she had a severe case of commitment issues. Either way, the woman knew how to keep a divorce lawyer in business. This lady was a walking, talking, man-eating hurricane. When it comes to sex addiction in Hollywood, the list reads like a who's who of A-list debauchery. But if there's one name that stands out like a sore, well, you know, it's none other than the one and only Charlie Sheen. This guy makes Hugh Hefner look like a nun. Rumor has it Sheen's personal address book reads like a who's who of adult film stars. This guy's got more notches than a hardware store. If what was in his pants was a celebrity, it would have its own star on the Walk of Fame. And let's not forget the time he went on national TV and declared himself a warlock with tiger blood. I'm pretty sure that's not how you get cast in a family-friendly sitcom, Charlie. Unless it's a show about a sex-crazed, drug-fueled superhero, that is. Hey, at least he's providing us with endless tabloid entertainment, right? Ah, Jada Pinkett Smith. This silver screen siren has taken Tinseltown by storm, and her ravenous appetite for all things carnal has the paparazzi in a frenzy. Jada's legendary libido has become the stuff of legend with rumors of steamy on-screen trysts to behind-the-scenes escapades, this woman is a walking, talking advertisement for the power of Kegel exercises. But don't take our word for it. Just ask her husband, Will Smith. Rumor has it he's had to install a revolving door just to keep up with the parade of suitors vying for a piece of his wife's attention. Yeah, bad marriage for life. <laughs> From candid confessions on her Red Table talk show to rumors of open relationships, Jada is definitely enjoying Hollywood. Someone get this woman a medal or a cold shower. Here's Johnny. If there was a Guinness World Record for most notches on the bedpost, our money would be on Jack Nicholson taking home the trophy. This legendary actor has made a career out of playing charming rogues, but in his personal life, he's taken that persona to a whole new level. They say life imitates art. And boy, does it ever when it comes to good old Jack. From Angelica Houston to Lara Flynn Boyle and everyone in between. They don't call him Jack the Jumper for nothing, folks. This guy's had more conquests than Napoleon, and he's probably got enough notches on his bedpost to build a log cabin. Jack's got a little black book thicker than War and Peace, and this Hollywood legend ain't slowing down anytime soon. Ah, with a well-deserved spot on this list is none other than the sultry siren herself, Lana Turner. This gal was well known for her insatiable appetite for, well, let's just say, intimate company. Lana was the OG of the casting couch, 
using her feminine wiles to land roles and break hearts left and right. Lana was the original it girl, oozing sex appeal from every carefully quaffed poor. But it turns out all that smoldering on the silver screen was just a warm up for her real passion, burning through husbands and boyfriends like a pyromaniac through matchsticks. Lana's rap sheet of conquest reads like a who's who of mid 20th century leading men, from the dashing Tyrone Power to the brooding Howard Hughes. This gal was like a human version of the Energizer Bunny. She just kept going and going and going, all the way to the bedroom, that is. Ah, Mickey Rourke, the man, the myth, the legendary Lothario. If there's one thing this guy loves more than punching people in the face, it's, well, getting punched in a different kind of way. Rourke's bedroom exploits look like a laundry list of Hollywood's most famous and not so famous leading ladies. If it had a pulse and a penchant for bad boys, Mickey was there to give it some personal attention. Rourke's insatiable appetite for the ladies is the stuff of legend. Rumor has it he's bedded more starlets than there are stars in the sky. He's a walking, talking, Viagra popping example of why it's possible to have too much of a good thing or a lot of good things, all at once. Okay, let's talk about the one and only Diana Doors. This British bombshell's sexual appetite was the stuff of legend, earning her the title of Britain's Marilyn Monroe. From poolside trysts to backstage antics, this woman made the Playboy Mansion look like a convent. Oh, I thought you were someone else. Diana could seduce a monk out of his robes with just a wink and a pout. Hollywood's leading men were little more than chew toys to this insatiable siren, from her countless affairs with the rich and famous to her scandalous sex parties. And let's not forget her iconic role in the film Lady Godiva Rides Again. Diana Doors definitely lived life in the fast lane. If there's one thing Hollywood is known for, it's the endless parade of celebrities who can't seem to keep it in their pants. But when it comes to self-proclaimed sex addicts, one name stands out above the rest, Rob Lowe. This guy must have a revolving door on his bedroom because rumor has it he's been intimate with more people than the Kardashians have had plastic surgeries. And trust me, that's saying something. Lowe has been so open about his insatiable appetite for the horizontal mambo that he's practically made a career out of it. His memoir is titled Stories I Only Tell My Friends and a Few I Shouldn't, which is just a fancy way of saying I'm a total horn dog and proud of it. I've never felt more naked. That's not really true. But hey, at least he's honest, right? Most celebrities would just hire a team of PR flax to cover up their rampant sex addiction. Not Rob Lowe. He wears his I can't keep it in my pants badge with pride. These days, Lowe seems to have traded in his insatiable sex drive for a healthy obsession with parks and recreation. But don't be fooled. I'm sure he's still finding time to survey the land if you catch my drift. You thought Tinseltown was all glitz and glamour, but let me tell you, the dirty little secrets behind those silver screens would make even the most seasoned therapist blush. And when it comes to Hollywood's biggest sex addicts, rumor has it, the one and only Katherine Hepburn takes the cake, or should I say, the entire bakery. Sure, she had the poise of a prima ballerina and the wit of a Shakespearean scholar, but let's not forget the insatiable appetite that lurked beneath that impeccable exterior. Hepburn was like a heat-seeking missile, zeroing in on the next unsuspecting victim to satisfy her, let's say, artistic needs. From the back lots of RKO to the boudoirs of the Beverly Hills elite, Hepburn left a trail of broken hearts and tousled bedsheets in her wake. The woman was a veritable sexual tornado, blowing through leading men and studio executives alike, leaving them utterly spent and wondering what just happened. Okay, let's talk about none other than the legendary Steve McQueen, the epitome of cool and the ultimate ladies' man. Turns out, behind that rugged exterior was a man with an insatiable appetite for the fairer sex. And let me tell you, the stories are wilder than a pack of wild horses. From his early days as a struggling actor to his rise to stardom, McQueen was a veritable Casanova, leaving a trail of broken hearts and maybe a few broken beds in his wake. The guy was like a human magnet for the ladies, and he knew it. McQueen was known to have a revolving door of lovers, from starlets to socialites, and he didn't discriminate. If it had a pulse and looked good in a pair of tight pants, McQueen was all over it. 
The guy was like a one-man wrecking crew when it came to the bedroom. Okay, let's shine the spotlight on one of Tinseltown's most notorious Lotharios, David Duchovny. You might know him as the brooding, cigarette-smoking FBI agent Fox Mulder from The X-Files, but off-screen, Duchovny's personal life has been a veritable soap opera of salacious exploits. This guy makes Rob Lowe look like a choir boy. From his high-profile marriage to Taya Leone, which ended in divorce naturally, to his countless rumored trysts with co-stars and starlets, Duchovny's appetite for um, extraterrestrial activities is the stuff of legend. Seriously, the man must have a PhD in human anatomy at this point, but hey, we can't fault the guy for living his best life, right? If you had the looks, talent, and access to Hollywood's hottest bodies, you'd probably be a sex addict too. Just remember, David, the truth is out there.